So today we're here with Neil Higgins, the developer for the Stark Knot condos that we're calling the Overlook. We wanted to talk with you a little bit about the process here. I know you've been an architect for about 40 years. Almost. And Real you, close. you know, been designing these units for quite some time. And we're so excited that they're now finally show ready and that we can walk through them with you and talk about the process. Tell us a little bit about the units. They're roughly 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms. There's a study upstairs that could be easily converted to a bedroom. There's a very big, generous garage in the basement and, you know, a, a nice big great room with kitchen and a, a island. And then I think, of course, I think the best part of it is the roof deck. Uh, there's, there's a deck here on the first floor with a kitchen and great room that has a spectacular view of Good Harbor. Uh, there's a very good view from the second floor, but there's really an unparalleled spectacular view. Uh, of the ocean from the third floor. Let's talk a little bit about the location because that is you just have breathtaking views and I don't even know, it's 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 expansive and you can look right down at Good Harbor Beach. What are your favorite things about Gloucester and this location? Well, uh, my wife and I uh, kind of stumbled into uh, a winter rental here on Cape Ann for two winters and didn't expect to, but just completely fell in love with the place. Um, there's there's some beautiful beaches here. I think Good Harbor's the, the best of them. Um, but also, uh, Gloucester is just, it's still a very real working harbor. And it has sort of the best of both worlds. You just get fantastic food here, um, beautiful beaches. My son and I surf down Good Harbor. Um, you can walk down there in 10 minutes. It's, uh, it's really, spectacular. So one of the things that we're most excited about with these this, these condos is that they are not cookie cutter. They, You have taken so much time to design these to maximize the view and to give a bright open feel, feel and they really have a very modern feel to them. So tell us a little bit about your inspiration and you know some of the materials that you used in the project. Yeah I think um, you know one of the questions we asked ourselves uh, at the beginning is you know what's what's coastal architecture and, and especially what, you know, what's Cape Ann coastal. And uh, so the exterior has elements of tradition, uh, but it's a pared down, cleaner, traditional seaside look, I think. And then on the, on the interior, we really focused, instead of thinking about style, we really focused on a natural palette and taking some of the texture and color from around Cape Ann, especially Good Harbor Beach. And I think there's two great advantages about using a natural palette. One is that it just has a really kind of a serene feel in here. It's very calming. Um, the other one is that it's kind of a blank canvas for whatever your style is, you know, whatever you're gonna bring to the table in terms of rugs or couches or the towels in your bathroom, they're gonna work really well in here, no matter what your style is. So you made the decision to do the base of these houses as modular and then handcraft the finishes. Tell us a little bit about that process and the benefits of modular. Well, uh, you know, uh, modular is, is much different than what people expect and what people remember from, you know, 30, 40 years ago. Um, one of the things about modular, especially in Massachusetts, Massachusetts has much more stringent engineering requirements for modular construction. They're really, a very robust form of construction. Each of these boxes, um, it's, it's like a bundle of tubes when you build it, and there is, there's a lot of evidence that they do much better in a hurricane or a tornado. Um, and it was, uh, it was really exciting to see it go up. The, the, the form of the house comes together in a week, and um, we have some uh, time-elapsed video of that too. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, there's always work to do on the interior of a modular home. And we have some of the best carpenters and a really great general contractor working on the project. I know that you spent a lot of time and focus on the materials being so close to the ocean. Tell us what you used um, that helped in that respect. Well, 
On the exterior, we really focused on low maintenance. So the siding is hardy plank, uh, which will eventually need painting, but not for 20 or 25 years. Um, and it's very robust and sturdy. Uh, the decks are tracks. There's no refinishing. They'll last for a great long time. Inside, we used white oak for the floor. We finished it with something called uh, white Nordic, um, which makes it look like you just sanded it and uh, didn't put any finish on it at all. It's a very natural look. Yeah, so I think the, the last question is, what is your absolute favorite part of, this, the, of, the, of these units? That's, that's really tough. Um, you know, I know, I know every inch of it uh, because I've spent so much time with it and have been um, very involved with construction also. Um, I think I would have to say the roof deck and, uh, and also the, the association with a wet bar micro kitchen with that deck up there so that you can just spend all day up there if you want. Well, the units are beautiful, and I hope you would like to come and see it for yourself. We'll be letting you know and keeping you posted on when we can show them. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Cindy. All right.